Okay, is everybody who's uh, participating by Zoom, can, are you getting video and audio? Can you just uh, like click the little plus thing if you are, or reply in chat? Okay, we'll be getting started in just a second. Okay. Um, for those of you who are attending by Zoom, um, I'm just going to share my screen because I think that'll work. The, the cameras aren't really set up very well in this room yet. Looks silly, but uh, supposedly, as long as I'm behind the screen here, I can um, I can just use the face shield rather than my mask, which is what I'm going to try initially, at least, and uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. So, um, hopefully, uh, all of you who are attending by Zoom today, let me come over here where you can see me. Um, hopefully, everybody who's attending by Zoom today or is actually physically here in class. Uh, is here for this class. So this is Biology 111. Um, we'll be meeting here uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9. Um, now, again, there's going to be, we have to account for social distancing. So obviously this room is only, um, it can only hold 50 people with social distancing. So we're going to have to make some accommodations for that. And, and we'll talk about that today. Okay, um, if you guys don't know me already, most of you probably don't because you're freshmen. Um, I'm Dr. Neary. I'll be your instructor this semester. So the first thing I want to do is go over the syllabus. Well, first of all, I see uh, some, some people didn't get the message I see, but most of you, it looks like from uh, the Zoom attendance, um, got the message that the, the entire class was supposed to be uh, held on Zoom today. Okay, it's okay. We only had a handful of people show up. That's okay because you, you can all properly social distance, which is good. Um, but today we'll talk about um, exactly how we're going to go about uh, implementing social distancing and the, the special sorts of things we have to do while we're going to school during a pandemic. So let me switch back over to the syllabus. Okay, so this is the course syllabus. Um, normally, I would hand this out to everybody, um, but because of the pandemic, it's best just to do this electronically. So um, the syllabus is posted on eCampus. Now, those of you here, how many know how to use eCampus? Okay, see, some do, some don't. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about eCampus today. Um, you, should, you should check eCampus frequently. Uh, there's a lot of important stuff on there, um, announcements, like, um, like for instance, the announcement that today this class would be uh, held via Zoom. Normally, I would put something like that on eCampus. Also, I post uh, PowerPoints, um, any sort of multimedia that I use in class, that'll be posted on eCampus as well. So it's a really good resource for you. Um, it's something that you need to get used to using and checking regularly because I, I do use it a lot. Okay, so the first thing on the syllabus I want to do, I want to skip down to the bottom. And I want to talk about the, uh, the special things that we need to do uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So um, it's really hard to read through this screen. So it says um, 
you will be responsible for the cleanliness of your area. Please take one of the provided uh, disinfectant wipes as you come in uh, and clean your desk area. Okay, so you'll, you'll notice, I'll bring it over to the camera, but for those of you in class, um, this white bucket, this should be in every classroom. Um, these are disinfectant wipes. So as everybody comes in, I'd like you to take one of these wipes and then just go ahead and wipe down your desk area. Okay, so everybody should have done this. The person before you should have done this. Uh, the person who comes into the class afterwards should do this as well. So just wipe down your desk area just to, to keep the area uh, clean during the pandemic. Okay. Um, next, uh, so this is kind of important. So to facilitate contact tracing, uh, there will be assigned seating this semester. Uh, you'll be allowed to choose your own uh, seat, but you must continue to use that same seat for the rest of the semester. Okay. Um, so this is unfortunate, but we are going to have to have assigned seats and due to contact tracing, uh, I am going to have to take attendance as well, which, which actually is something I, I really don't like to do, but uh, given the circumstances, this is what we're going to have to do. Okay. Um, do not sit in any uh, of the seats uh, marked as off limits. So you, you'll notice that there are stickers at some seats. Uh, these are seats that are not to be used uh, because of social distancing. Um, what I'm going to do is to, to comply with social distancing, break you up into two groups. So group A is going to be those with the last names starting with A through L. Uh, group B is going to be those of you who have last names starting with M through Z. All right. Um, on Mondays and Wednesdays, oh, Mondays rather, on Mondays, that's when Group A attends in class and Group B should attend via Zoom. Uh, on Wednesdays, Group B attends in class and then Group A attends via Zoom. And we're going to alternate Fridays. Um, this coming Friday, so that Group A doesn't have to come two days in a row, will be uh, Group B will be this Friday. Um, and then starting next week, we'll be on our regular schedule with Group A coming on Monday, Group B coming on Wednesday, and then alternating on Fridays. Okay. Another thing I have to do is once we have the assigned seating in place, um, I have to turn that seating chart in so that they can do social distancing. Uh, now, you guys are going to be allowed to choose your own seats. But once you choose that seat, that's the one you sit in for the rest of the semester. Okay, so I'm going to start doing this on Monday. So everybody who's in group A, uh, please make an effort to attend class on Monday. That way we can uh, get you in your assigned seat for the semester and I can record that. Uh, same thing with group B. Please make an effort to attend on Wednesday um, and that way we can get your assigned seating down. And you know, I, I can record that and then we'll have that for the rest of the semester. Um, so if your group is scheduled to uh, attend lecture in class um, and you would rather attend on Zoom, that's fine. So anytime you guys want to just uh, attend by Zoom, that's fine with me. So let, let's say, for example, that you're, you're in group A, but something came up. You slept a little late, maybe, and, and you just would rather attend by Zoom. That's fine. You, you guys are, are free to attend by Zoom anytime. Um, if you just want to do that for most of the semester, um, that's fine too. Okay? Except for this coming Monday and Wednesday, because I have to get the seating place in plan. But after this Monday and Wednesday, or when, pardon me, after this coming Monday and Wednesday, um, anytime you want to uh, attend by Zoom. Uh, that's just fine. You're free to do that. To do that. Okay. However, the opposite isn't true. If you're group in group A and you don't want to attend by Zoom on a Wednesday, you want to you want to actually show up on a Wednesday. Well, your group isn't assigned Wednesdays, and if you take a seat, you're going to mess up the whole seating plan, and that'll mess up. If there's a, you know transmission of the virus, that'll affect the whole 
contact tracing and cause a mess. Okay, so if your group, if you want to attend by Zoom on a day that your group is assigned to be in class, that's fine. However, vice versa is not going to work out. You can't attend class on the day that your group is assigned Zoom. Okay. Um, and I think right now, apart from all the, the obvious stuff, we all, so I see everybody who attended today is wearing a mask, which is great. So apart from the other obvious stuff that I'm sure you guys have been getting since you got back to campus, I, I think that's about it for, for the COVID-19 stuff. Are there any questions for anybody who's attending today? How about, let's go back to Zoom. Any, any questions from the, uh, the people Zooming in today? Let me go back to, I'm sorry, let me go back to Zoom. Okay, I don't see any questions. Okay, um, let's go back to the syllabus. Okay, um, so what we're gonna do, and I, I apologize, well, those of you on Zoom, you can see uh, through, yeah, you can see through screen sharing. Okay. Um, so this is a lab course, so in addition to being, I'm going to have to get used to this, I'm, 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 a, I'm a pacer, I like to walk around while I lecture and I, I get myself out of, out of camera when I do that, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to be aware of that. Um, so this is a lab course, obviously, uh, which means that you need to be registered for both the lecture section um, and the lab section as well. So in addition to being um, register for this class, you should be registered for one of the following uh, lab sections. So there's uh, 10 lab sections this uh, semester, I think. So you, you should be, in addition to being registered for this lecture, you should be registered for one of these lab sections as well. Um, now, as far as procedures for your labs, um, I'm not teaching any labs this semester, I'm just teaching lecture. So your lab instructors will get in touch with you um, about the procedures for laboratories this semester, which will be a little bit different, of course, than in previous semesters. Um, down below the lab sections is my contact information. Um, now my office is going to be, this is a little bit of less important information than it usually is other semesters, because uh, right now they don't want us meeting with students in our offices, because some of our offices are small, and we really can't do effective social distancing in the small offices. Um, below that, my phone number. Uh, so that's my office phone number. Um, and below that are my email contacts. I highly suggest you guys contact me via email, okay? Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm not in my office very much, and I, Somehow I forgot how to use my voicemail. So it's um, the best way to contact me is just to email me. Um, you know, we all carry smartphones these days. Both of these email accounts sync to my, my smartphone. So it's the best way to get in touch with me. Okay, now after about five o'clock in the evening, I can't guarantee that I'll get back to you. Uh, but during business hours, this is definitely the most, the easiest and most efficient way of, of getting in touch with me, just shoot me an email. Um, office hours by appointment. So um, again, this is the best way to do it right now. Um, in the future, I plan on setting up some virtual office hours. Um, I also teach an online course, and the way I do uh, office hours with my online course is through um, Blackboard Collaborate which is one of the functions that you can access through eCampus. Um, I think I'm gonna set up some Blackboard Collaborate hours again. So um, this isn't the, the final version of the syllabus. I'll, when, when I set up some virtual office hours, I'll, I'll update this. I'll put an announcement on eCampus as well so that you guys can, if you need to, you can contact me uh, through virtual office hours on uh, Blackboard Collaborate.
Okay, down below that uh, course description, that's something you can read through later if you'd like. Um, textbook. So the textbook we're use, using is uh, the Unity and Diversity of Life 14th edition. This should be available in the bookstore or online if you, uh, if you would rather uh, look up someplace online uh, to purchase the book. Um, this is a, a required textbook. So this you, you will need to get for the class. Um, a, uh, a recommended but not required uh, book is the, a lab atlas. Um, these are very useful in lab. Uh, again, this is, this is something uh, recommended but not required. Um, lab atlases will become very useful uh, at about lab seven uh, when we start doing tissues. Uh, the pictures in the lab atlas can help you a lot. It'll be very helpful um, when you uh, when we start the sections and you're looking at stuff like uh, frog musculature, uh, you know, frog internal organs. Um, the atlases are a, a great help. Um, if you do decide to get one, um, I would say they really have the, they haven't changed much between editions as far as I, I I can see. So I would recommend that you maybe get online, look for an older edition of this, uh, which would honestly be just as good as some of the newer editions. Um, also, we do have some copies of lab atlases uh, in the laboratory uh, that you can use in, in the laboratory. Okay, but if you want one to actually take home with you, you'll have to buy a, a, a lab atlas. Okay. Uh, down below that, um, course objectives. I'm sorry, I lost my cursor. Uh, course objectives, I'll let you guys read through that later yourselves if you want to. Also, learning objectives. If testing, let's talk about testing. Uh, so first, quizzes. Um, over the course of the semester, there'll be 24 short quizzes. Okay? And this is actually quite a lot of uh, quizzes. I'm sorry, I'm wandering again, away from the camera. Uh, this is actually quite a lot of quizzes. Um, it works out to about two quizzes a week. Okay? Uh, quizzes are very short. Uh, they're administered online and they'll be on the material that I covered in that day's lecture, okay? So there's 24 quizzes worth five points a piece. Um, I drop your four lowest quiz grades, okay? And actually what I do is, rather than just going with 24 quizzes, I, I, I try to fit in as many quizzes as I can during the semester and Anything over 20, I drop. Okay, so so let's say for example, instead of 24 quizzes, I'm able to give you 28 quizzes this semester. That means I'll drop your eight lowest quiz grades. Okay, so this gives you a chance to really maximize your quiz points during the the semester. Okay, also students tell me that the quizzes help them to study for for the test as well. So the, the more quizzes I give, uh, that's more study material for uh, the upcoming exam. Um, tests, so we will have some tests in addition to the quizzes, of course. So uh, there will be uh, three exams during the semester worth 100 points apiece. Um, these tests will be multiple choice questions. Um, so each of the, the three tests during the semester will be 40 multiple choice questions worth 2.5 points apiece. Uh, for a total of 100 points. Also, I'll usually give you guys a bonus question as well on each test. The bonus question will be worth five points, and that's not multiple choice. That'll be something like um, a diagram that you need to fill in, or uh, maybe a chart with a couple things missing that you have to fill in the chart. Um, so it'll be things like that. So actually, with the bonus question, each of the uh, the three tests during the semester will be worth uh, 105 points apiece. Okay. Uh, then we have the final exam during finals week. Uh, the final exam is so in this course we have a comprehensive final. Uh, what does comprehensive final mean? That means you're going to be tested on everything that we've learned the entire semester. Okay. The comprehensive final is worth 200 points. Um, it'll consist of 80 multiple choice questions worth two and a half points apiece. 
Um, and also, I'll give you guys a bonus question on that. Because the final's worth a little bit more, I'll give you a 10-point bonus question. And that same thing applies. Usually, that's uh, maybe a diagram that you need to label or um, a chart or, or something along those lines. Okay. All right. So I talked about quiz. So we got 100 points from quizzes so far. We've got 300 points from the three tests during the semester. So that's a total of 400 points so far. We have the final exam that's worth 200 points. That's for a total of 600 points in lecture. Um, there's 800 points total in this course. <clears throat> okay, where do the other 200 points, <clears throat> pardon me, where are those other 200 points going to come from? Um, they're going to come from lab. Okay, so um, your lab instructors will break down exactly uh, where those 200 points come from. You'll have some lab handouts that you need to hand in for six points a piece. Uh, you'll have two lab tests. Uh, you'll have a couple assignments uh, that all add up to about 200 points. So that's where the other 200 points come from. So total of 800 points possible in the course. Um, down below testing, um, right here, I'm sorry, I can't see this cursor here, but there, there we go. Uh, right here is the grading scale. So if you keep track of how many points you've scored, you should have a pretty good idea of, of where you stand in terms of grades. Okay, so like I said, there's 800 points possible in the course. Um, if you get between 720 and 800 points, you have an A, uh, 640 to 719 B, et cetera. Okay, so this is something, this chart's actually good to refer to over the course of the semester if you want to keep track of your grade. Okay. Um, so tentative class schedule, excuse me a second. Um, I'm really disliking this face shield. Let me put the mask back on. Okay, those of you in class, could you hear me okay with the mask? Okay, uh, thanks. Um, let me let me check with the Zoomers. Um, why can't I see anything? Um, there we go. No. Okay, um, it's really hard for me to see what the Zoom people are saying via um, while I'm doing screen sharing. Okay, hopefully you can all hear me well. Um, I'll have to figure out a different way to contact the Zoomers while I'm screen sharing. Okay, all right, so let's talk about the, the uh, tentative class schedule. Um, so like I said, we're gonna have three tests over the course of the semester. Um, right now, test one I have scheduled for uh, the middle of September. Um, test three, early November. Um, then, so that's actually good. We're gonna get the first three tests in. Um, before you guys go away. Because remember, after the 25th of November, you guys go home for fall break and you don't come back, okay? You're gonna stay there for, for the week of fall break. After that, we have a week of online instruction. So during that week, everybody's gonna be Zooming in. Um, and uh, then after that, of course, we have finals week, uh, which will also be, you know, the final will also be administered uh, remotely. So again, things are a little bit different this semester. Also, um, so hopefully if you got the email, uh, you know that there are no labs this week. Uh, however, 
Uh, Dr. Williams is doing the labs this week. Uh, I got an email from her yesterday. She's having some technical difficulties, um, but labs are going to be starting next week. Okay, um, you can see all the TBAs. Uh, she, she didn't uh, get the whole lab schedule back to me yet. So again, I'm going to have to update this syllabus and post it to eCampus again, but um, I'll, I'll, I'll be filling in the rest of the lab soon. But this coming week, okay, next week, uh, you do go to lab and you will be doing the uh, analyzing and reporting data lab. Okay, um, final exam. So uh, once you guys go away, of course, the final is gonna be remote this year. Uh, final exam is gonna be Wednesday, December 9th, 8 to 9.50 a.m. Um, classroom etiquette. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this. It's mostly common sense. Uh, please mute your phones. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have too much trouble with people having conversations during class with, with social distancing going on. Um, but please use your common sense. I know you, you'll have to kind of yell to, to, for your neighbor to hear you with social distancing, but please use common sense. You know, if I'm, if I'm lecturing, please don't try to have a conversation, you know, almost six feet apart. Um, as far as electronics go, um, I don't mind you using pads, laptops, what have you. However, if you are going to use a laptop or a pad, I do request that when you choose your seat for the semester, you choose something in the back row because sometimes uh, your screen can be distracting to people behind you, uh, particularly if you're not using it for class and on Facebook or something or YouTube. Um, not, not that you guys would do that, I'm sure, but, uh, but, but if you're going to use a, some kind of a screen in class, uh, please sit in the back uh, just so you're not distracting your, uh, your classmates. Um, PowerPoints. So when we get to the short PowerPoint presentation I have for you today, first thing I'll talk about is eCampus and how to use it. I utilize eCampus a lot. Um, all of the PowerPoint presentations that I use in this class will be posted on eCampus for you guys to access, okay? And actually the first two are already posted on eCampus. Uh, if we have time, I'll, I'll show you guys how to access those today. Um, makeup tests and labs. Okay, this semester in particular, makeup labs are gonna be a problem. You know, because of the procedures we have to put in place for the COVID-19 pandemic. Please, please, please try to get to labs on your, at your assigned time. Okay, same thing for tests. Please, please, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to give tests online or in class yet. So I'm, I'm leaning towards online, but please, please, when, when, when the, the, I assign the time, uh, please be able to take the test at that time. It will make things a lot easier. Now, I know sometimes life gets in the way, and there are times when you absolutely cannot attend a lab or cannot make it for a test, okay? If you can't make it for a test, please let me know as soon as possible, okay, so that we can make other arrangements. Similarly, if you can't make it for a lab, let your lab instructor know as soon as possible so they can make uh, other arrangements. Um, if you can't make it for a test, you have one week to make up the, the test. Okay, so for example, if I was given a test this Friday, you would have to, well, you, have, you have five school days, so you would have to make it up by the following Friday or take a zero. So uh, please let me know as soon as possible so that we can make other arrangements and you know, get the test done before that, uh, that five-day deadline. Um, final exam, okay, we're, we're a lot less flexible on the final exam, so please definitely make sure that you can, uh, you can take the final exam at the time that is scheduled. 
Okay, inclusivity statement. Again, this is pretty much common sense. You probably see this in all of your classes. Um, I'll just let you read that over yourself if you want to. Um, academic integrity. Again, this is common sense. Um, now, because we're going to be administering a lot of tests online and the final online, um, that gives people a lot of opportunity to uh, to use other resources while they're taking the test. Um, usually the way I deal with that is, is by limiting the amount of time you have for each question. Um, so again, use your common sense. Um, this is, this is a really difficult thing when, when you can't actually proctor an exam that you're giving. So uh, use your common sense when it comes to uh, academic integrity. Um, assistance. Um, again, this is difficult. Uh, most semesters, I would tell you about the Student Success Center. Um, you guys might have heard of the Student Success Center before. It's a really great resource. For, uh, for helping uh, if, you're, if you're struggling in class. Uh, you can get free tutoring. However, during the pandemic, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Um, the other form of assistance that's available to you is to come to me. And this might, I'll have to get in touch with the Student Success Center to see exactly how they're doing it this semester. Um, but the other thing you can do is come to me. Okay, we can always, you can make an appointment for office hours. We can set up a meeting uh, via Blackboard Collaborate. Um, and I'll, I'll be happy to help you as much as I can. Okay, uh, another thing concerning assistance is if you find yourself struggling, I really, really urge you to do something right away. Okay, those who get help right away tend to do well and recover in the course. Those who put it off and say, well, let me wait, say you didn't do really well on test number one. If you say, well, let me, uh, let me see how I do on test number two and then maybe I'll get a tutor. Those people tend to just dig themselves a deeper hole and never really recover. However, if you're the kind of person who didn't do really well on test number one and they said, well, I'm going to you know, the Student Success Center or I'm setting up a weekly meeting with Dr. Neary so that we can go over this stuff so that, so that I won't do well, on, I won't do poorly on test two. People like those who do something right away tend to recover and, and do better. So I urge you, please, 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 if you find yourself not doing well early in the course, get help right away. Okay, there is help available. There's free help through me. Uh, hopefully through the Student Success Center. I'm going to have to call them and see exactly what they're doing during the, doing during the pandemic. Um, but there is help available. Okay. Um, one last thing having to do with uh, the COVID-19 procedures. Um, Dr. B was just talking about this yesterday. So obviously one of the points where we're gonna come into contact with each other more than any other time during the class is when we're either entering or leaving the class. So what they're asking you to do is if you come to class, you know, just wait outside until somebody comes out and gives you the all clear. Okay, so they, they asked us to, you know, tell the last student on the way out to tell the people outside the door okay, it's all clear, you can, come, you can come in now. Now, I'm probably gonna be the last one out the door because I have, um, sorry, sorry for the people, I'm walking away from the camera again. Um, I'm gonna have to download the, uh, the recorded Zoom lecture to post on eCampus. So because I'll be here doing that, I'll probably be the last one out the door. So I'll, I'll, I'll be able to give them the all clear to come in once you guys have, have cleared out. All right, that's an awful lot. We don't have a whole lot of time left. Um, any, any questions from the people in class today about anything I went over? Okay, let me exit screen sharing real quick and see. Okay. Um, 
So anybody attending by Zoom, um, anybody attending by Zoom have any questions? So I don't see any raised hands or any anything in the chat. Okay, if there's no questions, let me see. So these Zoom meetings are actually, they're limiting me to 40 minutes on these Zoom meetings. And it looks like I'm just about out of time. Um, there was an awful lot of thought to go over today, obviously because of the, the pandemic. And uh, with only about three minutes left, I don't want to start going over the PowerPoint. Um, so I'll just end it here for today. Um, so let me just remind you before we, we break, um, this Friday, um, if you're in Group B and want to attend the lecture in person, you can. Uh, everybody else in Group A should attend via Zoom. Um, next week when we come back to class, Group A is, I'm sorry, did I say Group A for Friday? Group B. Group B can attend on Friday. I'll post this all on eCampus. Um, next week, Monday, Group A should attend in class. Group B should attend on eCampus. Um, this coming Wednesday, Group B should attend in class. Group A should attend on Zoom. I'm sorry, I said eCampus before. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll put announcements on eCampus for you guys uh, so you, you know exactly what uh, when to show up. Okay. So I'm out of time, so uh, goodbye to all the Zoomers. Um, those, in, those, those of you in class, unless you have questions, uh, we're done for today. So again, Friday, uh, Group B can come to class, Group A on Zoom. Monday, A in class, B on Zoom. Wednesday, B in class, A on Zoom. Got it? All right, folks. I'll see you either Friday or Monday or Wednesday, I guess. Um, yeah, if you go over to the dining hall, are you talking about the dining facilities? Yeah. Uh, the dining facility should be open. Uh, if not, there's uh, the tech spot. You should be able to get a sandwich or a coffee at the tech spot. And that's, you know where that is, right across the, uh, you know where the dining facility is, right? Isn't it like over there? Yeah, if, if you go out the front door of the Life Sciences Building, and go directly across the big parking lot um, on the first floor there. That's where the tech spot and the dining facility is. You're welcome.